Hi folks, welcome to this episode of Hit Mahogany. Um, what have we got today? Got some whiskies, bit of yellow chartreuse, I've actually got some ginger here as well. Sounds a little bit like a penicillin, but maybe you've got a rash, it's just not going away. Penicillin ain't doing the trick, you know what you need? Maybe you need amoxicillin. That's right, we're going to do, be doing a riff on the penicillin, the amoxicillin cocktail. Alright, so this one, I've adjusted the recipe just a little bit, just for my taste and what I like. You feel free to do whatever you want as well. Penicillin cocktail, what a fantastic use of Scotch whiskey, or as I just like to call, whiskey. There we go. Uh, try it, definitely. And I know, as I said when I did that video up there for the penicillin, some people think it's a little bit of a travesty. How can you add anything else but maybe a splash of water to whiskey? Uh, and even that sometimes can rile a few people as well. But seriously, trying a cocktail with Scotch whiskey, and, and of course, you know, the same as bourbon, rye, Japanese whiskey, Irish whiskey, it can really bring out different flavours within there. And they're just a great way to showcase some of what we have in Scotland anyway. And you know what, I had to do a bit of a sales pitch there anyway. Okay, many cases, uh, you know, a lot of times they use a blended whiskey, but uh, you know what I'm going to use, I've had, as you can gather, uh, I've uh, been enjoying Dalmore actually. This is one that I hadn't had until quite recently and uh, really, really been enjoying this one. So what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna be making two of these. So whatever your base whiskey is, you don't want anything smoky or too peaty. We'll talk about that a little bit later on. Blended whiskey or something a little bit just on the lighter side, okay. Now I'm gonna use Dalmore. Now this does have a great flavor to it. Now for each one of these, it's two ounces. Now since I'm making two, I'm going to put four in. And it looks as though that's me out of my Dalmore. I'm sad, I'm gonna to have to buy another bottle. You know what, if Dalmore's watching, you got to try it, haven't you? Send me a bottle, we'd love to get through another one, definitely. Doing a little bit of a pitch there anyway. Okay, that's it. Now in the penicillin, you're using, uh, you know, quite a lot of uh, syrup, honey syrup, actually, to sweeten it. Uh, here, what we're going to be using is we're actually going to be using a little bit of chartreuse. Uh, now, this is the uh, the sister of green chartreuse, uh, very herbal, uh, pungent, uh, a little bit of bitterness in there as well. Uh, many times you have a a, chart a bottle of chartreuse lying around, you don't know what to do with it, you know, so. Uh, Green chartreuse is definitely a, a good one for the, uh, uh, I was going to say the last word there, but it's not the last word. Uh, anyway, yeah, bit of a brain fart on that one there. But anyway, how to tell them apart? One's green and one's yellow. Not too difficult to actually mix that one up there, okay? So it's half an ounce for each cocktail, so this is actually going to be one ounce here. Now, in the, coat, in the recipes that I've seen, it's been a little bit of a ginger syrup that's also been used within this. I, I like to get extra zing. You can use certainly the juice from the ginger, but what I actually have here is I have a couple of pieces of ginger already, just sliced up. You don't need too much, it's pretty strong. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually just gonna muddle this for just a couple of minutes, okay? So give me a second while I get muddling this, okay? Okay, I am done muddling with my muddler. All muddled. Uh, muddled since I woke up this morning anyway. Uh, all right, muddled, okay, we've got that. Now what I am going to use, now I do actually have some uh, ginger syrup that I had, I've made for another cocktail, which I will be doing at another point. So this is actually simple syrup that had uh, pieces of ginger boiled in it. So we're gonna add uh, a quarter ounce of this for each cocktail to add just a little bit of an extra sweetness in there, a little bit of extra ginger, but it is good to actually use the, the muddling as well. So that will be, since it's a quarter ounce for each, we'll add a half ounce in there for two of them. So that's it. Ginger syrup. As I said before, these little bottles are fantastic. All right, lemon juice. Same as in a penicillin. Uh, good amount of a uh, lemon juice in here. So it's actually three quarters of an ounce for each one. So what we're actually gonna use then 
is one and a half in total. You need something to cut through all that sweetness and of course you've got the you know this citrus aspect that brings everything together you know you need that sour within your cocktail as well and that is our ingredients what we're going to do is we're going to get this chilled down Nice shaker. Oh, you know what? There's a great smell coming out of everything there, the whiskey. So the chartreuse, a little bit of aniseed flavour. You know, you got the herbal aspects as well coming through there. A little bit of the sweetness. There's almost a, a honey. I almost think of that. I'm trying to picture that. It's like a, it's licorice with honey and herbs coating it. You know, it's just, it's, it's a great little drink that one but really you know you can drink it neat or on the rocks if you want but it's just fantastic in cocktails all right let's get this shaken up and done cold nice and chilled yeah got two muddlers there okay you want your tumblers rocks glass whiskey glass whatever you want to call it we've got two here Get yourself, if you don't have it yet, you want king cubes. Keeps it nice and cold, but controls the dilution there, okay? So get those in there. And because we had some ginger in this, we don't want bits of ginger floating around in our cocktail. I did it by accident the other night there. It was actually quite nice. We are going to double strain this into our glass. Definitely similar colour to the penicillin, definitely. Okay, there we have it. Now, recipe that I saw, that you don't, there's not too many copies of this around the place, so I'm not quite sure where this one actually came from. Uh, the one that I found there actually asked for uh, an atomizer of a peated, smoky uh, whiskey, and uh, I'm not atomizing this, we want a really good flavour from this and I'm going to go back to the Ard bag on this, you know, Kalila, uh, got a couple of others in there, certainly Lagavulin would do the trick as well, but I'm going to stick with my Ard bag on this I and I am not going to atomize it, I want a good chip from this, but I don't want it to cut through so much that you're going to lose the base bomo, uh, the base Dalmore in this, so all that I'm going to do is because we've got the ice cube in here, just a splash, that is it. That's all that you need on top. And there we go. Garnish, lots of lemon. Let's get a slice of lemon in it. That's it. Nothing more complex than that. One, two. Easy. It's been a bit awkward there. There we have it. Amoxicillin. Let's see if it's going to cure what the penicillin couldn't. I've not tried one of these before, by the way. Well, I have. Sometimes I say that, and I had, you know, I've tried it a couple of times, but uh, certainly uh, not significantly. Let's put it that way. All right, here we go. Mmm. Smoking is coming through. Definitely, oh. Lemon, chartreuse, a little bit of bitterness coming through in the back end. Now, the interesting thing is that you drink more of this, what happens is that that smoky, that peaty kick that you get from whichever whiskey you're using as the float starts to fade away and as you go deeper into the drink itself the flavour actually changes. Mm. There we go. Had to drink more of it of course. I can get that. Mm. The Dalmore starting to come through there. A little bit of the richness, a little bit more of that pour, a stronger vanilla, a bit more oakiness coming through there. That you don't quite get as much of the flavour with the, the Ard bag. Not saying that it's not there, but you get it coming through. That chartreuse, very faint in the background. Just a little bit of bitterness coming through. A lot of few of those herbal notes coming in. 
but then the ginger is kicking in and it's got a really good sweetness to it. Now because you've got the lemon juice in, it's not overly sweet. They're actually balancing each other very, very well. Penicillin, amoxicillin, mm, you know what? I could certainly go for either. I think this is a, a great riff on the penicillin, definitely. It's a great use of yellow chartreuse. So, uh, yeah, it's definitely a winner. I could drink more of these, that is for sure. All right, everybody, cheers. Hopefully your rashes will clear up with uh, either some penicillin or amoxicillin. And uh, we'll see what mine cures. Cheers.